Hey everyone, Adam Shaw here from EntrepreneurTenacity.com. Today I want to talk about uh, specifically how to sell products on social media. Uh, now, with that being said, there are many different types of social media platforms. Some are better than others for selling. Uh, certainly, uh, the ones that come to my mind that are the best for consumable goods, I would have to say would be Pinterest and or Onenello. If you're not fam familiar with Onenello, it's a social media platform that uh, allows you to post items for sale on the platform and people can actually click a buy now on the actual individual posts. Very, very powerful. A lot of different retailers, major retails are jumping on board to Onenello. Uh, I think Urban Outfitters is on there. Uh, Old Navy, uh, I want to say Gap, a lot of different uh, clothing designers are on there. Very, very, very uh, popular. It's a very uh, popular social medium uh, amongst uh, kind of a younger kind of crowd, anywhere from teens to, I would say, 40-year-olds. The demographic after that isn't uh, too broad. It's really kind of a younger uh, demographic using that social media platform. Pinterest, I would say, covers the full gambit anywhere from teenagers to uh, to uh, elderly. You know, I, I, I think that covers a, a much wider base. But you have to look at all these different social media uh, venues in certain kinds of way. Like what's, what kind of democrat, demographic uh, audience do we have here? You know, do we have a broad base or do we have a more narrow niche? And, and oftentimes if it's narrow and you have products that are good for that narrow niche, like if you have a product that's uh, good for teens and uh, young adults and people in their 30s, then it'll probably would do well on something like Juanello. Um, if you had something that was uh, much more uh, marketable to uh, someone who was a baby boomer, then I would probably side with uh, Pinterest as, as because that just seems like those demographics lean over to Pinterest. They don't know about new tech. And Juanello is kind of new. Uh, it hasn't, it's, it's new, but it's definitely growing. Uh, that being said, I actually wrote a book on, uh, Juanello marketing. It's called Juanello marketing Wiz. It's on Amazon. If you want to check it out, it's on Kindle. Uh, it, I think it's priced at $2.99. You can check it out. I'll put a link down in the description. If you want to check out that book. Uh, I talk about different tactics, uh, you can, you can utilize on, uh, on Juanello. Right now, I'm trying to think of how many people I have on, I think I have 5,000 followers on Wanello, which is, 5,000 is pretty good. I mean, I can literally post a product and 5,000 people can see it pop up. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm always trying to grow that. It takes time, like everything, but I'm definitely uh, trying to grow that part of social media and uh, marketing my products here and there uh, on that Wanello. I also use Pinterest a lot too. Um, but Wanello is great. I mean, I, I've had products on Wanello share over like 500 times between people. I, I like that. I, if I can share a product and it gets shared 500 times, you better believe I'm going to be on it. So to sell your products on social media, uh, I, would, I would have to give a, a little bit more advice on you have to make it really engaging. The products have to be really engaging uh, to the audience. So, for example, if you choose you want you want to be on something like YouTube because so, YouTube's considered a social media platform because people can comment. If you want to put your product on YouTube, you have to show a video of it in practical use, or you have to be engaging with whatever your product is. Like, uh, do a demonst if you sell pipe hosing, you do a demonstration video of how it works why it's good for certain crops. It has to be very engaging. Uh, and that's very, very essential uh, on all social media platforms. YouTube was just an example. I like YouTube as well as a social media platform for uh, showing uh, products. I mean, you, I, I have another channel. It's growing pretty mightily. I think I'm at, I'm getting close to 200 subscribers. 
and uh, it's growing three subscribers every single day, three or four subscribers every day. I like YouTube. Uh, YouTube is also – why I like YouTube – now I'm going to go off on a tangent. I like YouTube because Google owns it and the fact that certain keywords get – uh, ranked onto Google and then YouTube videos get ranked on the front page of search results. I love YouTube. I'm all about YouTube. Um, and YouTube's considered a search engine. It's the second largest search engine next to, next to Google. So, I mean, you can see that, uh, that's can be a very, very powerful, uh, uh social media platform for, for putting a product out there. But Essentially, if you have a product, whatever it is, you have to see what social media platform uh, would be best for that product and how you're going to present it. Is it going to be engaging with the audience? You know, it, are people are people going to find value in seeing it posted online? Uh, and I would also say that you want people to comment on social media product posts. So you want that kind of engagement. So if people, let's say you post, let's say you sell uh, an auto part and you post it, I don't know, you might be able to post it on one Ello. Uh, it, let's say you post it on all three platforms, one Ello, um, Pinterest, and YouTube. Well, people can comment on them. So if people comment on the product, they go, wow, does this work for on uh, this? Does this auto part work on this kind of car? Or how long does it take to? You give them extremely good customer service. Uh, you show them why this is a valuable product. Uh, you say you give them any kind of discount possible. You engage with them on that social media venue as much as possible. The more you engage, the more likely they're going to like you, they're going to follow you, and or they might buy your product. So uh, that's very important in, is to engage with people into comments. And uh, people, because of it, will share that product with their friends uh, and or they will share that on the social media with their friends and or um, – you know, they'll, you could create some kind of, uh, that person will remember you, uh, for the future. So that's a couple, uh, examples of ways you can sell products on social media. I just wanted to give you that little bit of information. Definitely subscribe to us. Uh, leave a comment below. If you have any questions, uh, like this video and I will see you guys soon. Okay. Take care. All right. Bye.